I sent Oliver up earlier. Mags is going to get him processed out this afternoon. Great. I have no idea why he was here in the first place. The guy can barely freeze an ice cube. Did he mention anything to you? <laughs> Oliver Ritz never mentions anything. He monologues. Oh, that's an understatement. I saw an old interview with him in Green once where he didn't shut up for 15 minutes straight. I'm telling you, I learned more about the weaponization potential of mold spores than I ever needed to. He's an... Interesting man? Interesting. Yes. And no, I don't know why he was here. From what I gleaned from his file, even Wadsworth didn't have much of an idea. The order to put him on Tier 5 came from pretty far up the chain of command. But I'm glad he's getting out. If only to save us from having our ears talked off. <laughs> this is weird. Don't you think it's weird? What's weird? Why are you whispering? It's so quiet. I've never heard Tier 5 so quiet. Well, with all the patients Lee has taken off our hands, no, I know. and then the other ones we've released, I suppose it's no surprise that things are a bit quieter around here. That's not what I meant. I just... I don't know. It feels... calmer. I don't think I'm picking up on the nuances you... It feels more peaceful, more... correct? Does that make sense? Less like a drain in our collective morality. I suppose. We're doing the right thing here. Feels good. Hmm. You don't seem as excited as I am about all of this. No, I am. Of course I am. The thought that no one like Oliver, like Mark, will be held here against their will, it's wonderful. Mark will be so thrilled when he hears about this. Right, when he hears about this. So you're not freaking out anymore? What do you mean? Well, a few days ago, you were worried that we were misjudging some of our tier fives. You made it sound like we shouldn't be releasing them. I never said that. You pretty much did. I said that there were some atypicals who had the capacity to use their abilities for murder and mayhem, and that we are completely unable to predict when those incidents might happen. What? You're not making a great argument for yourself. There's no argument to be made. We saw what happened when we underestimated an atypical. I can't afford to make that mistake again. What happened with Sydney wasn't on you, Joan. I should have noticed the changes in him. Because I didn't, people got hurt. Nicole is going to be fine. You know that, right? But that was never a given. She could easily have died. Any one of us could have died. Wonderful. Let's keep innocent people locked up for no other reason than the fact that Joan Bright is skittish. I'm not... Sam, I don't know what you want from me. We're releasing three atypicals this afternoon. Atypicals that I evaluated and deemed safe. I know. I, I know. I'm sorry. I, I do trust you, Joan. I just... I want us to be careful. We will be. But we can't get into this right now. I have an evaluation scheduled to begin in 30 minutes. Who's up today? Her name is Helen, controls frequencies, I think, radio waves, that sort of thing. She actually helped me and Jackson when we were trapped down here with Sydney. I'm heading upstairs to go through her file. Do you want to join me? I would enjoy hearing your perspective. Yeah, I think that'd be good. From Luminary Media, you're listening to the AM Archives. This is Episode 7, The Right Way, by Caitlin Schneiderhan.
Yes? Sir? Oh, Jackson. Come in, come in. Is this a good time? I was just wrapping up a few emails. Can I help you? Well, Mags wanted me to let you know. Lee just left with Taylor Griffiths. Any issues? None. He'll send along a report when they're settled. Should be in about a week or so. Good. Good. Everything all right? Hmm? Yes. Everything's fine. Okay. Uh, if that's all, I'll... How are you doing, Jackson? Me? <laughs> no complaints. Even after the whole... Alex flare-up? <laughs> I, I don't know if I properly thanked you for helping out, by the way. I'm just doing my job. At any rate, thank you. Yeah. It was very quick thinking, and... Well, I, I wouldn't want you to feel as though your contributions to this team were unappreciated. No unappreciation felt, sir. Good. Glad to hear it. And working with Joan. You've been getting along, uh, both of you? Uh, I believe so. Unless she's mentioned something no. to you. No, 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 she hasn't. Just let me know if she says anything, you know, along those she lines. She hasn't said anything, don't worry. But Joan can be a bit prickly. And you're new around here. It's more you I'm worried about in terms of that interaction. <laughs> well, hadn't noticed any prickliness, sir. Really? No, sir. Uh, she showed me the broken vending machine near the gym. The Milky Way machine? Wow. <laughs> Mags usually likes to keep that information locked up tight. Dr. Bright has been very accommodating. Huh. Good. Good. Hmm. <laughs> I had noticed that that you've been pairing off for a lot of projects. There's a lot of work to be done around here right now, sir. No, I, yes, of course. <laughs> and since, you know, we're still a little thin staff-wise, I just thought... You maybe, stepped up? I try to. Mm-hmm. And I enjoy working with Dr. Bright, <laughs> Joan. She has a perspective on atypicals that's... It's interesting. Hey, what are you doing right now? Oh, I was actually going to check in with Joan. You know, see if she needs any help with anything. She should be about to start with the next tier five candidate. Nah, she and Sam can tackle that together. Why don't you come with me to the med bay? What's in the med bay? Well, Dr. Sharp was able to turn up a volunteer for the serum. Not a patient or an employee. Someone from outside of the AM? That's what it sounds like. But who would want to volunteer for this kind of thing? I have no idea. Let's go find out. At the very least, it's probably more exciting than free chocolate bars. How's that? It's fine. Not too tight. Okay. Moving into more serial killer territory here. Is that super necessary, Dr. Sharp? It's imperative that once the serum is administered, you move as little as possible. We don't want any exterior influences triggering your ability before we have you use it on purpose. Right. Understood, Doc. I doubt it. Director Green, you're just in time. I was about to begin. Uh, excellent. Excellent. Is this the volunteer? Oh, no. Oh. Hey, Owen. No, absolutely not. Now, is that any kind of way to greet a guy you tortured for years? Get him out of that chair, Dr. Sharp. Mr. Bryant has volunteered. He is here of his own free will. Is everything okay? Who's this guy? You can't be serious, Mark. Joan is going to kill you. No, she's going to kill me, and then she's going to kill that you. That first part sounds okay to oh, me. Oh, you're Dr. Bright's brother. Yeah, seriously, who is this guy? This is... Can we begin, please? Agent Crawford. Jackson. Jackson, this is Mark Bryant. He's just leaving now. Nice to meet you. I shake your hand, except... Uh, I won't take it personally. Don't mind Agent Green. He can't seem to get his head around the fact that I have bodily autonomy these days and can make whatever choices I want about my body. This is dangerous, Mark. I'm aware, asshole. I really think you're... Look, Owen, I'm doing this. 
I won't even blame you when Joni finds out, but if you try to stop me, I will make sure that she believes you strapped me down yourself. Right. If we're done with the hand wringing, I'm going to prepare the serum. I'll... help you. Great. Good choice. Thank you for this, Mark. You're doing an immense favor for the AM. Yeah, well, believe me, that's not why I'm here. I've never seen that man walk so fast. I've never thought of it as a walk. It's more of a slither, really. <laughs> no love lost there, huh? As long as I'm tied down in this chair, I'm pleading the fifth. You don't have to do this, Mark. Oh, I'm well aware. What? Do I have something on my face? Because you might have to get it off for me. Well, just trying to get my mind around how they roped someone into testing this thing. I roped myself in, thank you very much. But why? This drug, it could erase your abilities permanently. Yeah, thanks for the refresher, Mags. It could kill you. Well, it wouldn't be the first time the AM tried that. I just don't understand why you're- I'm not you're... asking you to understand. You're not the one in the chair. I'm telling Joan. Don't do that. She deserves to this know. This is my life. She doesn't deserve any part of it, okay? She's my sister. She's not my keeper. But she's the Please. one Please. That... She wouldn't get it. And I... I need to do this. But I just Please. Think... I think we're just about ready to begin. Sure thing, Doc. Dr. Sharp, please. Are you absolutely 100% yes. sure that... Agent Dansmore, don't you have some patients that need releasing? Right. Yeah, I do. I'll be fine. Really. Okay. I'll be back to check on you later. If we're done with the theatrics... Oh, I'm never done with theatrics. Please relax your arm, Mr. Bryant. Okay. In a moment, I'm going to inject you with this serum. The odds are good that it will burn at first. Please refrain from squirming, as it may interfere with our measurements. <sighs> no squirming. Got it. This monitor here will display your brain activity throughout the procedure. The one to your left measures your heart rate. Do you have any questions about either? Oh, so many. Then I invite you to write them down after the trial is done, and I will have a lab assistant email you their responses. <sighs> Anyone ever tell you you've got the world's best bedside manner? If the serum works the way I anticipate it working, then you will find yourself unable to use your ability for the next 48 to 96 hours. Oh, okay. I cannot guarantee these results. Director Green and I will be on the other side of that window. We will be watching until I am satisfied that it is safe to re-enter this room. Just, uh, scream away. Exactly. <laughs> Reassuring. Bring on the needles, Doc. Very well. Agent Crawford, I invite you to step out into the hall. Uh, if it's okay with you, I'm, I'm actually going to stick around. I can't sign off on that. We don't know if Mr. Bryant's biochemistry will interact with the serum in a potentially... She thinks I might explode on you. <laughs> I get that. But I'm going to stick around anyway. Agent Crawford... Look, tell you what. Mark, you tell me if you feel like you're going to explode, and I'll book it. I can be really speedy when I want to be. Huh? On your head, I suppose. Please don't tense up, Mr. Bryant. This may sting a bit. <sighs> Good. If you feel any further discomfort, please... No wiggling. Right. And thank you for volunteering. You are doing the AM a great service. You're doing Alex Chen a great service. Sorry, who the hell are you again? Do you have the admission paperwork? Mm, over here. Have you seen the records from 2011? I think they were under the x-rays. This is strange. Hmm. Have you seen this? Here, right there. The admission date. August 5th. Of what year? Huh. It's not listed. That's right. And over on the pharmacology records, it says she was admitted on January 23rd. Again, no year listed. Sloppy bookkeeping? Perhaps. Then again... Why would anyone hide such a basic fact? I have no idea. How long is... Uh, what's her name again? Helen. How long has Helen even been here? 
I'll have to ask her when she comes up for the interview. So I was thinking... Yes? Maybe I should stick around for this interview. Uh, that's highly irregular, Sam. I know, but... We've never done anything like that before. Uh, not to mention the potential breach of doctor-patient confidentiality. I understand all that, but... I have to be honest, you've been acting a little... Not yourself, in regards to atypicals, ever since the breakout. Breakout attempt. He got out of his cell. He nearly got out of the AM. It was a breakout. Anything beyond that is... Well, it seems like semantics, you know? I'm not seeing your point. My point is that I've noticed you're... leery of atypicals. Excuse me? Just lately. When you had to sit down with that weather guy, the, the, the guy with the clouds, Javier, I thought you were going to pass out. I cleared him to leave. Yeah, I know. And Oliver, too. After I pointed out all the inconsistencies in their files. All the reasons they shouldn't be here. More investigation, that's what you want. And what's wrong with that? What's wrong with understanding the full picture? You don't get to dictate what makes up the full picture. Everything that scares you doesn't get to be the whole story. There's a difference between being cautious and being fascist. So we should set Sydney out on the streets. Trevor, that telekinetic who killed four people should just be free to keep killing? That's not what I'm saying and you know it. I'm working on figuring that out for us. It's my job, please let me do my job. I'd be happy to. Except these days you're starting to sound less and less like Joan Bryant and more and more like Wadsworth. <sighs> really hope you didn't talk like this when Mark came by. When who came by? Mark, he said he was going to swing by to... He's back? He showed up this morning. He he didn't come to see you? No, he... He was going to say hi while I wrapped up some stuff with Mags earlier. I, he must have gotten sidetracked. I didn't... I, d did you know? That he was coming back? I... No. I, he doesn't... He didn't tell me anything. I ha I have to go... Joan. I, no, I need to go find him. You have Helen's evaluation. She can wait. She's been waiting. She's been waiting in our cells for this chance. Very well, Sam. Let's say for a moment that I am behaving irrationally. What would you suggest? We can't ignore the fact that we do have some dangerous people on Tier 5. Intentionally dangerous people. Deliberately. They can't all be released like Oliver or Javier or Mona. But take, take Helen, for example, with the missing gaps in her paperwork. She's never stepped a toe out of line in all the months that I've been here, but that doesn't change the fact that she is a frequency kinetic with enough power to drop a man in his tracks. You don't want me to ask questions? You don't want me to try to get to know her? Fine. What do you want? Let me use my ability. <laughs> as simple as I that. I can travel back, find those gaps in her files, and fill them. That is not the way we do things. No, it's not how you do things. You can't solve everything by using your ability, Sam. It can solve some things. I, I told you, the past doesn't lie. It's objective, just like we should be. I worry that you are thinking about your ability as a shortcut right now. It's not. <laughs> a short... It took me... Years to get this ability under control, and you think I consider it a shortcut? The only way I'll be able to get a good look into Helen's past, into her psyche, is by speaking with her. It matters who these people are now, not then. Have they moved on? Have they improved? That's what will dictate whether or not they should be released. I thought you, of all people, would understand that. You know what, Joan? Go ahead. Talk to Helen, see what she has to say, but there's more to this person than just your take on her. And what is that supposed to mean? It means you do this interview your way and I'll do it mine. Sam? Sam! God damn it! I will do it my way and I won't be skittish about it. Now just sign over here. Where? At the bottom of, wait, what page are you on? Four. Oh my god. Okay, so flip ahead, you're looking for page 13. Wait, hey, Oliver? I'm reading. Okay, but I just need your signature It's on important to read all the paperwork, especially if you're going to be signing it. Fine. You know the kinds of things that companies will hide in fine print? It's ridiculous. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. Probably not. Did you know that you can legally sign away your soul, 
It's not just a phrase. If you skim the wrong document and just sign willy-nilly, your soul won't actually belong to you anymore. Okay. And I'm not a religious man, but what the hell does that mean happens after I die? Oliver. Hey, Oliver. Eyes <sighs> on me for a sec. What? You want to get out of here, don't you? Yes. Great. Well, then all I have you... lived in that basement for three years. I could kill to get out of here. Really not the best choice of phrase right now. But considering the circumstances, I'm going to let that one slide. I've been underground with criminals for three years. I don't... I am not meant to be around criminals. I am a biochemist. I am the preeminent biochemist. Okay, okay. When I was working at the DOD, I would never have been subjected to conditions like this. Oliver, hey, focus up. Mm. I just wanted to tell you, the sooner you get through this paperwork, the sooner we can get you out of here. How does that sound? Page 13, you said? That's right. Mm. Hey, are you going to be okay here for like five minutes? Why? I just have to go talk to Dr. Bright. Just a real quick question to run past her. What do you say? It'll give you more time to look over the fine print? Hmm. Take all the time you need. So, do you... Please refrain from moving, Mr. Bryant. Great. Awesome. Anything you say, big brother? (laughs) Hey, can I ask you a weird question? Go for it. Could you... Scratch my nose? Are you kidding? Please, it's killing me. I didn't strap myself, but I think Dr. Doom over there would murder me. My name is Sharp, Mr. Bryant. Sure it is. (sighs) How's this? A little to the left. A little more. Okay, go to town. Go to town. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's it. Always happy to be helpful. (laughs) Don't say stuff like that around here. Who knows what they'll make you do? (laughs) If I remember accurately, you told me you walked in and pretty much strapped yourself to that chair. (laughs) God, no one should hold me up as an example. Didn't my sister tell you that much? No. I bet you know her. Yes. I know Joan. Ooh, Joan. I mean, we, we do more of a first name thing yeah, 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 these I heard. days. The dawn of a more warm and squishy AM. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. Settle down, please, Mr. Bryant. You call her by her first name, too? Oh, you mean Dr. Doom? Yeah. <laughs> I don't mess with the lady holding the hypodermic needle. An intelligent decision, Agent Crawford. Now, please, Mr. Bryant. Lie still, or we will have to end this trial and quarantine you until we are certain the serum hasn't had any negative effects. Quarantine, huh? We have plenty of room down below on Tier 5. Okay, that's enough, Dr. Sharp. Hey, you good? I'm good. I'm... Fuck, God, why am I here? I'll be honest. I've been wondering something similar myself. I mean, if you told me six months ago that I'd walk back into this place... Willingly, and then volunteer to be injected with hey, some hey, mystery hey. drug? Hey, take a breath, I'd ask man. you if you'd been watching my nightmares recently. Fuck. Fuck. Hey, another breath, okay? <sighs> you good? No. But I... <sighs> You've been spending time with Joni, haven't you? What makes you say that? The breath thing reminded me of her. I know the breath. Breathe. Remember to breathe. Like, I can't do that on my own. Hey, you were starting to hyperventilate. Yeah, well, that's my own business. Okay, whatever you say, man. You know, if you told me ten years ago that I'd be working for the AM, I probably would have had a panic attack, too. Yeah? Well, maybe not a panic attack, but I that bolted so fast you think your eyes were screwing with you. So why'd you come back? If you hated it so much, why'd you come back to the AM? Because the kid who was a patient back in Atlanta needed what I think this AM is on the way to becoming. What, because of the first name thing? 
Because of people who actually care about atypicals. People like your sister. <laughs> Don't let her hear you say that. I'll go straight to her head. <laughs> you know, you're a funny guy, Mark. Hey, thanks. I really, really try. Well, you ready to tell me why you signed up for this yet? You I, don't have to. It just seems like you need to talk to it, someone. It's not that. I just... What's that? All cellular devices must be turned off in the medical bay, Agent Crawford. Sorry, I'll put this on... So huh? Wait, that's weird. What's weird? Um, a security blip? One of the doors downstairs just locked remotely. It's... One of the evaluation rooms. I, I think Joan is running a session in there. Joni? It's probably nothing. We've been running a lot of security system tests over the last few weeks. O okay. Yeah, you know what? Um, I'm just gonna go check with Mags, make sure it's all- Okay, but you just said- I'll be that... back. Five minutes, sit tight. Oh, do I have a choice? Fine, no problem. Sitting. Tight. AM Archives is brought to you by Luminary Media and is a production of Atypical Artists. The series is written by Lauren Shippen, Octavia Bray, and Caitlin Schneiderhan. This episode was written by Caitlin Schneiderhan. In it, you heard the voices of Julia Morizawa as Dr. Bright, Ian McEwen as Agent Green, Lauren Shippen as Sam, Bryce Charles as Mags, Dion Earl as Jackson, Diana Inosanto as Dr. Sharp, Andrew Nowak as Mark, and Christian Brune as Oliver Ritz. This episode was directed by Lauren Shippen and sound designed by Misha Stanton. Original score by Evan Cunningham. The AM Archives is produced by Lauren Shippen, Jordan Cope, Brigham Snow, and Evan Cunningham. Thank you for listening, and stay strange.